Now our series, You and AI, and its growing role in policing. A 2021 study estimates artificial intelligence can help cities reduce crime by 30 to 40 percent. It may also be a tool to help keep officers accountable. Think about this. In a matter of minutes, AI can comb through millions of hours of body camera footage and spot troubling behavior before it becomes a bigger problem. Every day, tens of thousands of police interactions are captured on body camera video. Surprisingly, most of it never gets watched. Less than 1% of body camera videos are ever reviewed. And that's a huge waste because those cameras are super expensive, the storage is expensive. That is where a Chicago-based tech startup enters the picture. Cutting down the alley. It's called Trulio, the software scanning every frame to create a transcript. The AI is smart enough to say we think an escalation occurred. It flags language that could mark professional or unprofessional conduct. We alert the sergeant that there's some interesting events that have occurred. We make all that data searchable. There's no more excuses for any department to say, well, I didn't know. How could I have known this officer had this type of behavior? Armed with the data, the sergeant can retrain the offending officer or offer praise for good work. A police department in California claims Trulio helped reduce their use of force by 36 percent. It prevents officers from going down a certain path that you can't come back from. We had all this data that we, that the American people, the American taxpayer are paying for, all this game film, and we were doing nothing with it. Veteran police chief Art Acevedo has been using Trulio for several months at his department in Aurora, Colorado. Helps us make them accountable, but at the end of the day, gives us the ability for the first hey, time okay. to actually audit yeah, and boy. analyze and assess every second of video. Trulio is just one of many ways that artificial intelligence is already making a big impact on police work. But there's still big questions about accountability and how quickly the nation's laws can adapt to this evolving technology. The potential here is to create systems that can empower humans and allow us to improve existing systems in the world. But there's always the risk that we take a system that has biases and other problems with it, and we just end up amplifying those biases and, and problems. Already, AI is used in license plate readers, gunshot detection, even crime prediction and facial recognition. As smart as these tools have become, they are still prone to mistakes. So that's why it's really so important that we test for accuracy, test for bias, and do impact assessments. The ACLU of Illinois worries about police supervisors becoming too reliant on AI. Writing in part about Trulio, using this technology cannot replace human eyes and ears on body cam footage. They say it raises fundamental privacy concerns, especially for witnesses or victims captured on camera. Co-founder Anthony Tassoni says Trulio is compliant with FBI data standards, and they never copy or store the original audio or video. We don't do any type of facial recognition. We don't do any image analysis. All of that stuff's loaded with bias. Trulio is now used by more than two dozen police departments. None of them are in Illinois. But the Southside native is hoping to change that. We've offered to Chicago police, we would do it for free. We would not charge Chicago police. They can have our software. From police accountability to solving crimes, AI is quickly becoming an important tool for law enforcement. But it is exactly that, one tool out of many that requires training, transparency, and testing to make sure it works as intended to make our communities safer.